We're just going over African bell carol for lesson number five. I have all your parts up here and what I'm going to do, I'm going to go through each part, tell you how the parts are the same, how they're different, whether to play cues or not. Feel free in this video, if you're practicing at home, practice along with each one. Each time I play, play along with your part, whether it's the same part or not, okay? So we're going to look at baritone and trombone, which pretty much are very similar. Um, at 33, they have the same part, 41, same part, 49, same part, 57, same part. Okay, I'm going to, oh, sorry, I'm looking at baritone and baritone. That's my bad. All right, let me uh, get the trombone part. There it is. Sorry, guys. All right, so 33 is not the same part. 41 is the same, 49 is different. 57 is different, 65 is the same. Okay, and then compared to tenor sax. Tenor sax starts at 25, which is not the same. But tenor sax, yes, that is not the same, okay? Um, tenor sax is the same at 33 as the baritone. And you'll notice that in the part, tenor sax 41 is amazing, but that no one else has that, okay? All right, so we're going to start just by playing the trombone part, but everyone can play at 33, okay? And for this, we're going to take it at 120, 120 beats per minute. 33, trombone part. One, two, three, one, ready. <laughs> So a lot of you may have that. This is probably sharp, so I'm going to go out a little bit. All right, let's look at going on 41, okay? Let me just get this up. Okay, good. Hopefully you're practicing along at home, playing along. Here's the tuner. out a little bit more. Usually tune in first position on what I'm doing. Right, that's a little low. Okay, here we go. 41. This is the same as the baritone. One, two, three, one, ready. And then there's a long rest, 89 to the end. One ready, and. Oh, I'm off. One ready, and. felt good playing along. If you're a tenor sax, bass clarinet, or a baritone, you should have played along there. But now we're going to look at the baritone part. And as I said, the baritone and the tenor sax are similar in many ways. Okay, let me just make sure I have my tuner out. If you notice, I'm playing this all on the trombone. So cross your fingers, I get this right. And uh, tenor saxophones at measure 21, 
Yes, please play that. I think on your part it will say yes. A Q means another part has that. Bass clarinet and bassoon have that. We only have one bass clarinet as of now, and I'm going to give out another bass clarinet soon. But I still want you to play there. Okay, really, really cool part. You start on 21. Right now we're just doing the baritone part, though. At 33, it's the same as tenor sax. Um, at 57, it is the same as tenor sax. And then 65 is... Looks like almost the same, and the same thing with 89. Here we go. 33, it starts on beat 2, so it'll go 1. Okay, I'm going to play that in time now. 33. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. about the SFZ, that's a sword sondo. I played this on the trombone part, now I'm playing it on the baritone part. Tenor sax, you have some sports sondos at 69 and 71 and near the end also. That means to start loud and then suddenly get soft, okay? I want you to think of a bell. When you ring a bell, it's loud and then there's like a hum afterwards. Dong, okay? That dong is the forte. Then I want you to go down to piano, okay? But it's called sforzando because it's supposed to be accented, a little more push. Now, 57, tenor sax and baritone. I think alto saxophones have this part too. This is the best part of the song, okay? So, please play this strong. I'm going to start right there. Remember, if you're a trombone or bass clarinet, you could be playing along too. 57. One, ready, and... Tone, trombone, tenor sax, I am going to go through your whole part, even if it does mimic the um, baritone part. Okay, like I said, this is a practice video for all of you. All right, if you're having trouble with specific notes, the time to ask is at the lesson. Okay, um, so let's see if I can get this right. Okay, and then we got... Take this in chunks. This is at 21. Okay, 21. One, two, three, one, ready. This is where the baritone started. Remember, if you're playing along on bass clarinet or trombone, you guys play on beat one. I will be breathing on beat one when I play the tenor sax part like I played on the baritone part. So I will say one, two, three, one, two, three. After I say one, two, three, one, two, three, tenor sax, I mean uh, trombone and bass clarinet, you should start and then I will breathe for tenor sax, okay? I think it's the same part. Bum, ba -da -dum, ba -da -dum. Okay, I'm just gonna look at that part instead. 33, this time we're gonna go on, no, we're just gonna take 33 to 41. One, two, three, one, two, three.
right, cool. Now I didn't go on because I need to check out these notes to make sure I have them right for the tenor sax. I need to get up to that G. All right, so it's pretty high part for the G. And tenor sax, I mean, uh, trombones typically don't play this high. Not the same as anyone's part, and tenor sax means you have a G sharp up high. G sharp is the three fingers with the pinky. Don't forget that with your, yes, your octave key. So you're going to do the G sharp. Um, yeah, so G sharp, hmm, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to, think I can hit that note, we'll see. that lower. Yeah, just to be able to make sure I get that right. There we go. So I'm going to play the right notes. I'm just going to go down the octave for that. Here we go, 49. Mm, yeah. And I think I'll go on through 57. 
Here's 89. One and ready, go. All right, so if you're watching this whole video, great job trying to play along. Remember, if you are a baritone or trombone, you do not start until measure 33. And baritones, you start on beat two of 33. So for the tenor sax and bass line up part, you have to count four measures rest. One, two, three, two, two, three. Trombones, you come after four, two, three. Baritones, you count four, two, three. Bum, ba, da, dum. Okay, thank you for listening to all my trombone playing. I hope it was in tune. You guys sound great on your recordings, so keep it up. Um, week five, we are good. Um.